we are back with another stylish trading hairstyle tutorial guys i promise you all this one is a bomb and you don't want to miss it so why don't we dive right in as usual i'm gonna start by moisturizing adobe's hair which is very essential for that i'll be using ado's living conditioning hair butter a lot of persons have asked me where to get this from and let me answer this again this is a brand okay ados hair growth or ados hair products hair care products was um founded by yours truly so you can order from ig you can send a direct message to ados underscore hair yeah you can send a direct message to ados underscore hair or you can order via a website that will be living in the description box so moving on i have moisturized the hair and i'm brushing that out see adobe have a very thick hair very stubble hair so this product have actually helped me in you know managing her hair and i also use a detangling spray which you guys just saw me pouring onto my hand and then put it onto the hair it helps like detangling spray is very essential please don't comb your child's hair while dry don't do that don't even living conditioner alone can't even cut it because it will still not be wet the hair should be damp before you start combing don't comb a a, a dry hair so moving on i've already started sectioning the hair as you guys can see i parted you know a straight line there and in between yeah just like that and also here like we'll have three steps i don't know if that makes sense you know one at the down one in the middle and oh, and the last one at the front before i'll start patting in between the one at the down i patted into two the one in the middle i think i patted into five I think i guess <laughs> and yeah we just put that i just want to section out everything so once i start trading i wouldn't have to you know section before trading i just want to try out this method once again it's been so long i did something like this like lately i have just been patting as i trade like once i pat one i will work on it before i'll pat again but i want to do something like this so in total we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay in total we have eleven hair or parted hair and yeah i just showed you guys the materials i'll be using for this hair which are kinky extension and brazilian wool so i just picked a bunch of the um kinky extension and started braiding onto her hair like i just braided to an extent and then i put on two strands of the brazilian wool and started trading so i'll keep on trading uniformly making sure there is no gap in between see trading can be kind of tricky you can easily leave a gap in between especially when you are not too you know too good at it or when you haven't done it a lot you can easily have a gap in between so you just have to slow down be you don't have to be fast slow down and you will get it right okay okay so i'll try to an extent and measure by raising it up to the middle because that's where we want the bond to be so i will raise it up to see if you know the length is there we don't want it to be overly long and again we don't want it to be short so i just have to measure by doing that and i tied it out making sure that there is a leave out of the kinky we don't want the whole kinky don't go and thread and cover the whole kinky please we want the ends of the kinky to be very very visible that one self is not even visible which is why i have to change the kinky extension i'm using to a longer one okay the one i used to trade the kinky that i used for the first one it's kind of short so it, there was no so much kinky left i don't know if you guys noticed that but this one that i'm working on is very long which i shouldn't have even used for this position being that this particular position will be very short okay the trading in that particular position will be short since it's in the middle so i should have just left that long kinky for the ends while i use the short kinky for the for the middle if i don't know if you guys are getting what i'm saying see i have two different kinkies two different companies okay of kinky one is darling and the other one is rosemary or something like that i've forgotten or expression yeah i think the longer one is expression and the short one is darling so the long one is expression and you know that is what i use here you guys can see the ends it's kind of long so you just have to take note okay if you want your bone to be like big you can use the short one okay <laughs> at the end of the day it's 
depends on your preference. You just have to make sure that you have something at the end. Okay. Okay. So here is the last one. The reason I'm not giving so much details of the training is because I believe every one of you. Okay. Let me not generalize. I believe a huge percentage of you, especially if you have come across my channel, you possibly know how trading is done. So I'm not giving an in-depth tutorial of how to trade. It's really not difficult, honestly. You just have to be careful so you don't have a gap in between. That's all. That's all. And we are done. We are basically done with trading all the hair. And you guys can see the ends. You can see the kinky at the end. Yeah, we want that length there. We want it. So I'm cutting out the tradings. We don't want the trading at this point anymore. I'm cutting all of that off. And after that, guys, I just, <laughs> I don't know, I just trimmed off a little bit. Not that I was at that point of trimming anyways so this is the magic look at look at the magic so i just packed that all up at the middle where i want the bond to be i want the bond to be at that middle so i put in my elastic band and started tying it i'll just like pass that over pass that over the bone like three times so it can be well secured have to be very careful at this stage this might look like you know i'm pulling her hair it's because this video is fast forwarded i'm not pulling no hair so there we have it i am done um tying that all up but um that's not the volume i want i want the scene to be voluminous like well not extremely voluminous but i want it to pop like i want the volume to be there okay so i started going in with bits of kinky the short ones at this point since we are not trading it so it can work so i started tying it onto the 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 the, the, the threading just where they are needed okay just basically just where they are needed so they tying that out and yeah i think this volume is okay and i went in with my scissors i'm gonna start chop 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 because we don't want this thing to be to be very very voluminous i mean she's a child and also she's gonna be going to school with it so we don't want it to be extremely voluminous and i think this length is okay this is me checking it out to observe and then i realized okay this is good <laughs> this my explanation is almost looking like a story at this point but nope not biggie not biggie i know you guys understand so i went in to start accessorizing i accessorized with a butterfly clip and you know and the, a gold color paint of this whatever and i sprayed on you know some shiny mousse no that's not mousse that's the spray shiny spray something i sprayed that in i started laying down her edges and i also went in with their doors hair growth oil to oil her scalp which is very important after every hairdo i do this i do this okay and guys look at my baby girl oh my goodness <laughs> you see how beautiful this hairstyle look like who would have thought that the simple processes we took would give us this beautiful end result like this hairstyle is so easy i kid you not i achieved this in 30 minutes so go ahead and recreate this and you'll be glad you did not only you your daughter your princess will be so so glad you did honestly they would love this trust me so i did not only stop here i went ahead to try out another method okay of styling this actually so i decided okay let's switch this up a little bit and i removed the butterfly the accessory and i trim it down i trimmed it down a little bit more and this is what we have what do you think guys for me i can't even choose honestly but let me hear from you what do you think between this and the accessorized voluminous one which do you prefer let me know in the comment section so that brings us to the end of this video why not give us a thumbs up and subscribe see you all in my next one bye